The collection log. It's the foundation to my spreadsheet which I use to generate and complete one task at a time. After completing all easy tasks, I am now faced with new challenges where my skill and perseverance will be put to the test more than ever before. I welcome you to Season 2 of Generate Task, the medium tier. In the previous episode of Generate Task, we first went back to Pest Control to get the Void Ranger Helm, followed by us visiting the Ancient Cavern once again for some ancient pages. After that we began the final Slayer grind in the medium tier with the goal of getting rune boots from Necreals. On the way there we also received a shield left half, a granite maul and a mystic rope top dark, all being new additions to the collection log as well. Today we're facing one of the most iconic challenges in the game as we start off by going for the fire cape as we make our way through the fight cave to defeat Jed. Now one last thing I have to do before I'm ready for the challenge is get some more ammunition for the Carol's crossbow I'll be using. So this guy over here in Port Phasmatis sells ball tracks. They start at 50 GP each but go up fairly quickly so I'll just buy about 100 before hopping worlds every time. And I should be good to go once I have like 3000 in total. And there we go, that is 3000 ball tracks bought. Cost about 220k in total so that's not too bad. And didn't leave too much of a dent in our cash stack. Alright, this is the final setup I think. We got full blessed Dragonite, the Diary Ring and Cape for some extra prayer bonus as well. And of course a Carol's Crossbow with Baldrax as our weapon of choice. As far as the inventory goes, I'm bringing 9 sharks and the rest of the inventory filled with prayer potions, which I reckon should do the trick. Keep in mind that I do already have 90 ranged and 85 defense as well, so I should be fine if I don't mess anything up. So let's go, let's defeat Jet and let's obtain the Fire Cape. We did it, we got the fire cape completed and that is 36% medium progression. And now for the next task it would be amazing if we now got the dragon defender. Imagine that all the gear upgrades after each other. But will it be the case? Okay, I guess not. Another ancient page task, so another quick one. Let's get it over and done with. Alright, the first ancient page, but will it be a duplicate or not? I think it's new, cause otherwise I'm pretty sure it says it's a duplicate, so uh, let's check. My notes, 
Yeah, nice. Okay, one more page. We might just be able to finish it on the first trip. Let's hope we don't run out of food. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna risk it with 35 HP because I've taken a combo that high before, I think. So, a bit unfortunate, but I guess we'll do another trip to finish this one. Four mangled bones, though, so those are going in the bank again for clues later on. Now, instead of just going in naked like before, I should probably gear up a bit so I take less damage from the spirits that do spawn. Uh, that's not a bad idea, is it? If this absolute chat is not able to get another ancient page, then there's something wrong with the game, that's for sure. And the 10 minute wait starts once again, way. Is that the one? Could it be? I think it is. Yep, it looks like we're done. 8 out of 26, haha, <laughs> well then. We prepared for this trip with all of the tank gear, a full inventory of food, and we get it straight away this time. I guess that's fine. That means we can go and generate the next task, but let's not teleport out just yet this time around, just in case we get the back-to-back. -back. Let's see if we can get those ancient pages again. There's still a pretty decent chance, because there are four more ancient page tasks in the medium tier. So here we go, let's see. Oh boy, a basilisk hat. Okay, I guess we'll go to the basilisks. I really hope I can get lucky on this one, because basilisks are not the greatest monster to camp. Their drops are kind of trash, so here goes nothing. At least we do have the fire cape now, which will help a little bit. So the basilisk head is a very rare drop from the basilisks that require 40 slayer to kill as it's sitting at a drop rate of 1 in 2000 from the regular basilisks that I will be killing for this task. The only real use for it is that you can mount it in your POH after getting it stuffed, but it can also be sacrificed to the dark altar in Arceus for 2500 prayer XP, which apparently does not require any favor, so there's a fun fact for you all. Here we are at the basilisks, let's get this grind on the road, 2000 on average to get ahead. Not sure how many I can kill per hour, but that's gonna take a while for sure. I killed 500 basilisks so far, so that is one fourth of the way to the drop rate right now. Not sure if I'll get any levels on this grind, hopefully we'll get lucky enough to get it early on. Alright, I got somewhat of a full inventory, 1 crystal key, 114k cash, 63 law runes and 550 nature runes and 15 renar weeds. So let's go and put those in the bank real quick and come back with some inventory space. And we're 825 basilisk kills in now. Kill number 1000 on this task. What a runes, great. Well, halfway there, onto the next 1k we go then. Now keep in mind that I also do have about 290 kills done before I started this task from the light mystic head we had to get previously. There's a level coming in, 86 strength. The first and hopefully the last one will get over here, but only time will tell. Although we are very likely to get 90 hit points as well, because that's not too far off right now. Hey, that's finally the first Mystic Head Light on this task after 1,248 kills. That's the second one in total now with about just over 1,500 kills. So that's pretty cool, but still no Basilisk Head. And there's another Mystic Head not too long after the first one, because there's the first one still in the chat as well. 1,300 kills on the dot now, so 200 more until we have another 500 done. Not too bad, probably gonna take another quick trip to the bank very shortly and I think I'll switch from the Dragon Dagger to my Dragon Battleaxe because if I'm not bringing potions it's probably better to use a Strength Boost spec from the Battleaxe. Oh yes, we got the Basilisk Head, oh my god. Right at the start of this third trip as well, oh, that's beautiful. I'm so glad I didn't go dry for this one, I'll tell you that much. That is 1330 kills on this task, which means in total we probably have like 1600 kills. Let's take a quick look at the log right here. Basilisks, yeah, 1620 total kills, beautiful. The Basilisk head obtained, we don't need these bones anymore for the peaches, we are done. And let's move on to the next task. Okay, I guess this one wasn't too bad, we got it below the drop rate, so that's always nice for a useless item from a useless monster like this. That is the task completed, another percentage gained, and let's see what the next task is gonna be this time around. Oh, that's great, one unique from Barrows, that's the kind of task I like to see. Let's hope for a good one. So here's the new updated Barrows outfit and setup that I think we're gonna go with now. I'm gonna use range for Arams as always and I'm bringing the leaf bladed sword for the KC in the tunnel. And let's start the first trip and let's get this new unique. Our starting KC on this task is 13 Barrows chests. So let's see how long it takes for the second piece in total.
man. Why am I so bad at keeping track when I'm gonna level a combat stat? I do not know, but... There's the second level 90 stat, level 90 hit points, that is beautiful, might as well be the first 99 we'll get. Just kinda depends on how the tasks will play out, but it will definitely be one of the early ones. That is now 20 chests done so far on this task, no unique just yet, and our Iban staff has pretty much run out of charges, so time to go back to the underground pass to recharge that one. There we go, we reached the well and that is 2500 charges again, ready to go, let's continue. It is time, we have another Quizmaster random event. Always love to see it for that very small chance on the Steel Baguette. Here we go, we are a winner once again. What is in the bugs this time around? A Mithril Scimitar. Excellent. Oh my god, it's over and done with, boys. Yes. <laughs> we did it. Oh, thank god. We did it. 64 chest count. Holy fuck. 51 chests in total on this one task. <laughs> now we're looking like even more of an absolute monster. <laughs> Look at that. Whew. Don't want to mess with this guy when you see him on the streets. Let's go. Derok Helm, beautiful. Nice. Oh, I'm so happy with that. And look at all these runes we got as well, you know. 2.3k blood, 6.2k chaos, 14k mind runes, almost 60k cash, and then some ball tracks as well. And we pretty much have enough, like the same amount of death runes as we started with. Not bad. All right. Yeah, let's let's get the back-to-back -back barrows task. <laughs> We've not had enough enough barrows yet uh, today. This guy is called Barrows Wipe, huh? Very peculiar. <laughs> let's not get a back-to-back -back barrows task, even though they are pretty good. This one got us to do plenty for now, but we did complete it, putting us at thirty-eight percent. And let's move on, generating the next one. Here we go. Okay, get a healer head, that's fine. Just a bit of Barbarian Assault to relax with. Let's get another head. That is all of the defender points done as a first roll. We need 275 in each for the healer head. I'll probably just finish this run as a defender though, as we're already at wave 8, so I will have some leftover defender points at the end, but that's no big deal. First queen kill coming in, and there it is. Now I do have a lot of defender points as expected, 481 when I only need 275 for this task, so I might as well spend 200 of them to level up the defender roll, which will help a bit for the other BA tasks, but that way the point grind for the items isn't affected on the next task. There we go, level 2 defender, which is now the second roll we leveled up together with healer. Second queen down, and that is the healer roll completed. 391 healer points, so a bit extra there as well, but not enough for another level up. The third run done as a collector and now all that's left for us is to do one more run as an attacker and then we are finished. That should be the final one, boom, we are done. That was a bit of a slow one because I switched teams for this one but we now have all of the points needed for the healer head, let's go and pick it up. We actually have enough attacker points as well to level up now so I guess I might as well get that to level 2 first, there we go, and now we can also get the healer head that we need. 275 points in each roll and a queen kill and there it is that is our task completed and we still have some points left for the next one we'll get 
Probably one of my favorite items from BA because I had it on my mage only Iron Man as well. So that's really cool to see once again. Task completed, moving on. The healer had obtained after four more BA runs. Pretty easy one, of course, and that is 39% now. Let's see what the next one is. And it's the Bowmaster headpiece. Oh boy. We can go back to killing chompy birds. Back to where it all started for this account. This is going to be slightly nostalgic already. I can't wait. I'll leave that one for the start of the next episode. But I do hope you all enjoyed this one as well. Special thanks to Adam for the support over on Patreon. And I wish you all a lovely day. And I'll talk to you all soon. Take care.